The minimum requirements to become a registered nurse in New Zealand for overseas nurses include a bachelor's degree in nursing, a nursing license where you are currently practicing, nursing experience of at least two years in the last five years, and that includes at least 2,500 work hours, and IELTS academic score of seven in all band score or OET score of minimum 350 in each band. In order to progress your application, the first step is to apply to CGFNS. CGFNS verifies and authenticates the applicant's identity, documents, academic and professional credentials, and nursing employment. If this is the first time you're hearing about CGFNS, that's totally fine because in this video, we'll talk about CGFNS application using the experience of a registered nurse from Philippines, New Zealand. So, grab your pen, take some notes, details, up next. Okay, Miss Veronica po. Shout out din sa yo, God bless you and your family. Be happy because you deserve all the happiness in life. And sana po magkita tayo soon. Oh, to help us circumnavigate the whole process of NZRM application, please welcome Nurse Ruru, our Pinoy nurse from Wellington, New Zealand. On our previous video, we talked about a step-by-step -step process on how to apply with CGFNS New Zealand for our international audience. In that interview, we talked in English and Tagalog. However, I have cut the important sections into short videos and added subtitles for you, so please do check those videos out at your own time. On this video, we'll still probably talk in Tagalog from time to time, but we'll just translate it as we carry on with our conversation because I think it's easier to do that than wait uh, for English subtitles later on. In this video, we'll answer frequently asked questions, provide some tips on commonly encountered challenges, and share some updates with the overall nursing application. Please stick to the very end of this video because we will also talk about what happens after you complete your CGFNS application. First, before we go any further, disclaimers. Um, we are not members of any agencies. We are not related to any recruitment companies. Um, so <laughs> we're just nurses sharing our experiences, sharing the experiences of other nurses we've met along this journey. Um, it's really important that you read the uh, CBS, NCNZ Handbook, and Nursing Council website. Right, Ms. Ruru? Agree with everything. <laughs> I initially made a CGM account for New Zealand. I am still in the process of completing my profile info years back then. I didn't continue with the application since I still have not decided whether I still want to pursue the career in New Zealand. Now, um, I want to apply as a nurse in USA. I am completing my profile from the one made years back for NZ, but upon checking my profile, I don't see any services offered for US application. Am I allowed to make another CGFNS account for US application? Because I see people saying not to make another account if I made a mistake in my account. I hope you can help me. Thank you. That's from DG. I think possible. I think it's still possible. Because um, first of all, different websites, sa. Because if, for example, um, because yung kapag nimbawa you're applying for CGFNS NZ, NZ, tapos um gusto mo iconnect or um yung mga requirements na submit mo na before. But di ba pwede mo siya gawin? May mga nakagawa pero sabi nila parang hindi naman din lahat um nasama. Mm. Hindi naman lahat kapaga na naipasok from US, from US to NZ. So parang for me, um, possible pa din naman siya makakareate ng panibago. Yeah, for, kasi for US naman yun eh. Yeah, that's the same thing I have. So for our viewers, just be mindful when you create your CGFNS account, you'll have to use your passport in order to create an account. If you are in the New Zealand website, you can only ever create one account, one CGFNS mm account because of that one passport but i i have met people before um, with us using their passports but they still managed to create a different account under new zealand using the same mm. because wow. yes yeah, true unless meron ako yung may nag-share um initially if yung old passport na gamit gamit niya kaso nagkaroon daw siya ng mga errors ganyan ganyan nagkataon na renew siya ng passport so syempre new yung passport number nakakreate daw siya ng panibagong CGFNS account. Yeah, and I think important reminder, Ms. Nuno, di ba? You have to be awake, alert, and enthusiastic when you're creating this account. Hindi yeah, yeah. pwede yung at the end of the duty, piling mo gusto mong isingit sa schedule. Yeah. Oh. And you're more prone to errors, di ba? Based on sa mga nakausap ka nang before. True. Yes, um, kailangan mo talaga siya tutukan ng time. Tapos, bigyan mo talaga siya ng time, and at the same time, ano yun, yung tamang alert ka, dapat hindi ka from night duty. 
Sobrang malaking bagay yun. Kasi pag nagkaroon ka ng mistake, ang hirap na niya ipa-edit. And hindi na siya tulad nung dati. Nung time kasi namin, magkawa ka ng support. The next day, may results na. Ngayon, hindi na. It takes weeks, sabi nila. Ah, oh gosh. So once you've created that CGFNS account, it will direct you to your uh, dashboard. Tama ba? You will receive a link in an email para to say mm. dashboard mo to be completed. So there's yes. service selector. We already talked about that mm. before. Step 2.2 is your my profile where the list of all the information that you have to provide about your identity. Education, history, license, English language, and then the payment options here. So, dito pala, ang dami ng questions. <laughs> How can you access the dashboard? Because <laughs> for some, I think they created the number one part, the ATGFNS account, and then I think 24, 48 hours have passed. They still can't access their dashboard. Can experience mo ba yan? Hindi. Actually, nag-iba na din kasi yung parang, hindi ko lang kung yun yung tamang term, pero parang interface. Oh. Nung, nung, ano, nung um, CGFNS compared dun sa Luma. Um, so, sobrang iba na yung itsura niya. Trinay ko rin kasi i-visit yesterday yung um, yung portal, yung, yung mismong dashboard ko. Um, ibang-iba na talaga din siya. Um, basically, pwede naman nila kasi ma-edit yun kahit di pa sila nagbabayad. Kung yun yung yun yung tinitignan nila. So, pinin ko, um, kailangan lang nila siguro itry i-click-click. <laughs> Hanapin lang nila kasi nandun din ha. Um, marami rin kayo tatanong, nasan yung support? Actually, makikita mo siya sa tab. I mean, dun sa pinaka-upper um, menu bar ba daw dun, parang sa taas. Siguro talaga kailangan na i-explore um, kung ano yung mga options dun. Yeah. I remember before, so I think a, a few weeks ago, or after we created our first video, I had two questions from people that they said that they couldn't access their dashboard. And then in the end, they actually had to contact CGFNS for some reason. I think there was maybe a bug in the system at that time. So yeah, I think mm. ask for help, contact, explore the yeah. system. It's siguro, so ano, it's parang baka isolated. I mean, siguro... <laughs> Depende rin kasi baka may iba kasi hindi rin sa computer or sa laptop nag-access. Ah, true. Like from phone. Depends so, talaga na um, everything na gagawin mo sa CGFNS na website um, sa laptop or desktop siya. True. Alright, question from Charm Mangaliag. I have a problem in uploading my photo. I cannot proceed. Any advice? Sa ano, um, sa sa photos, I think um yun yung issues nila lately. Um, in all fairness naman, you can still proceed with the application or with the, with the payment kahit wala kang uploaded picture. Um, may mga nagsabi na admin na parang dun sa group na, sa group chat, na parang um, I think error lang talaga siya sa website. Um, but you can still proceed naman. Uh, I have a friend na nagsabi rin siya sa akin about it and he denown, denown na niya yung size ng nung photo pero um hindi talaga nag-work pero nag nakapag-proceed naman siya sa payment. So, and besides yung photo naman yun is parang sa Facebook mo lang, meron ka lang photo sa profile mo. Pero hindi naman siya yung kumbaga parang pag pinasa yung report sa, sa nursing council, wala namang photo. So, okay lang. Okay, so yeah, I hope that answered your question, Charm, and Jared, and Palan well. So even if you can't upload your photos right away, you can still proceed with the CGFNS application and you should be able to continue with the process. Um, another question. Hello po from Brenna Arroyo. I have a problem in placing order. Hindi po ako makaproceed sa payment. nag error po. Error on creation, charge and order. Ayaw mo proceed ng payment. Hindi ko po alam kung ano pa ang kulang, bakit ayaw. Na-fill out down ko naman lahat ng details. I hope you can help me out. Thank you. Ako, in my opinion, um, pinaka isa sa mga laging nag-mistake, mag naging mistake is yung sa, sa profile, um, this one here. Pero yun yung isa sa pinaka um, common issue kasi hindi nila na move yung profession into that box. Kasi yun yung magda-determine kung ano yung pinapurchase nila talaga, kung ano yung profession din nila. So I think yun yung reason kung bakit hindi sila makaproceed 
dun sa account nila. Pero after noon, okay na. Mostly ng mga halimbaw na sendan ko nung try mo ito, yun, nakaka-proceed na sila. So, feeling ko yun talaga eh. Okay. And ha, important tip. So, make sure when you go at the bottom of that four, yeah. move the profession. <laughs> profession oh, oh. So that you can confirm what you're purchasing for. And just a reminder again, Ma'am Ruru, ano nga, how long is the CGFNS, CB, and so CBS, and Z valid for once you purchase it? One year. One, one year. year. One year from the from the day you purchased. Yes. Yeah, so, so you have one year to complete all the necessary requirements. Can you still uh, extend your CGFNS application? Yes. Yes, or, you can still extend. Um, I think um, may nag-share na parang um, nung nag-expire na yung account niya, hindi naman daw on the dot ng day na yun ay may na-receive siyang notification. I think after a few days, may na-receive siya na notifying her na yung account niya is um, expired na. Do, do, do she wish to, do you wish to parang um, extend? I think meron yata doon something na i-click or something na gagawin. By the way, if you're new to this channel, kia ora, my name is Binibini Veronica. I'm the little cop from New Zealand to Australia, helping you organize your new life abroad. So if you're new here, please make sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you will know when I upload new videos just like this one. Salamat po! We'll try and pick out from different sections. Um, sabi niya, ano sabi niya ito? Um, I think they asked what to write up. Ujwal asked, what to write in title column of CGFNS and contact information? I think she's just referring to maybe the Mr. Miss, Mrs. Title, I think. Mm-hmm. No? Wala naman masyadong, masyadong mahirap. Pinin ko, wala lang. Kung paano mo lang siguro gusto ma as you want to be called Miss or Mrs. Gusto mo ng Miss, MS or MISS? Mahala ka na. Go lang, go sa go lang, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> okay, Shepre, a most popular question. <laughs> I think I received this question several, several, several times. Mm. Uh, anyway, it's in relation with the maiden name. If kakakasal mo pala, mm. if you just got married and you're applying for CGFNS. Um, include, siyempre, marriage certificate. Aside from passport, um, another government ID. Um, best to include yung marriage certificate kasi doon nila masasertify or ma makikita na nag-change ka ng name, yung maiden name mo into your married name. Uh, may mga nagtatanong kasi, if for example, um, lahat ng documents niya ay single name pa naman. Do I have to include yung married name? Uh, or rather yung marriage certificate ko or ganyan, since single naman. I mean, um, lahat naman ng documents niya ay single pa. Um... Sabi ko, kung declare mo siya as married, I think it's best na you include your marriage certificate. Um, kasi proof mo yon na married married ka na. Tapos, um, and, tsaka doon naman makikita naman nila, makikita nila yung maiden, hi. Makikita naman nila yung maiden name din doon. So, another identif- kumbaga, uh, another ident- identifier din yun. Um, ano pa ba mga tinatanong nila doon? Um, may nagtanong, um, married sa before, hindi sila legally separated. Um, ayaw niyang gamitin yung last name na nung husband niya. So, ano ba dapat niyang gawin? I-declare niya ba as single or i-declare niya as married? So, parang sabi ko, kung hindi ka naman legally separated, baka kailangan married pa din ikaw ano tingin mo <laughs> pero parang ang um, sinuggest ko sa kanya is you can explain naman sa CGFNS kasi dito naman sa New Zealand diba they, they respect naman if if ko ano man yung uh, relationship status niyo so sabi ko kung hindi mo naman siya i-include sa sa application mo just declare mo na you were married but um kumbaga separated na kayo um kumbaga hindi mo na lang Walang, walang, hindi kayo another something like that. Pao actually asked, Hello po, ask ko lang kung may idea kayo kung ilang months po yung pag-process ng change of civil status and last name sa CGFNS. Plan po kasi ng wife ko mag-apply ng CGFNS for NZ kaso hindi pa po updated yung sa kanya. Thank you. Ah, uh, difficult question. <laughs> And, pero, I mean, sa akin, kung meron naman na silang marriage certificate, usually, di ba, hindi naman yun matagal. Matagal ba yung marriage certificate? 
kami parang um, sa Pilipinas, I think, um, mabot, mabot yata ng one month bago namin yung makuha yung marriage cert. Pero kasi I think yung, I uh, can't remember, pero I think kung married ka naman, pwede mo naman kasi siyang i-declare as married ka na. And then, pwede namang to follow siguro yung marriage certificate. Kasi di ba nauuna naman minsan yung, alam mo yung marriage certificate na yung parang galing talaga sa munisipyo. Hindi pa yung galing ng PSA. I mean, yeah. Uh-huh. Kasi I think yung sa PSA would take a little bit of like uh, two months or three months before you can actually request. Not really sure, can't remember. Pero um, kung, kung ganun ka fresh, as in kung fresh na fresh tipong next week ba, ganun. <laughs> Um, siguro you can use whatever na lang yung, halimbawa yung, yun nga, yung galing ng munisipyo. I think mabilis yun eh. Um, just to clarify, like if I just got married, for example, and my last name is still my maiden name, but I already have my mar- marriage certificate, but my other documents still reflect my maiden name. When I'm typing that information in CGFNS, when I'm completing the form, what last name should I use? Whatever is on your passport. Uh, I think you need to follow yung main profile mo should be following what whatever is in, is on your passport. I hope all of those examples helped out somehow. Um, just some questions around identity as well. Um, oh, I think in our previous video, we talked about notary cam, if you remember that. Yeah. From late, according to another YouTuber, one can get this done at the local post office and paid only £12 for it, which got accepted by CGFNS initially. So they're, they're talking about pounds. So I wonder if this is it somewhere in Europe or UK. Have you encountered that? If they went to a um, local place? Ah, okay. So pumunta sila sa... Tama ba yung tindi ko? Parang pumunta sila sa isang local na... And then nagbayad sila ng 12 pounds? Oh, yeah. I think pwede naman yun. As long as meron ka... Merong, kasi ang, ang, ang importante naman dun sa notary, um, notarial attestation is... Nung time na sinayin, pinirmahan mo siya is nandun ka sa na bed din nung nagnonotaryo na nakita niya and nasa-certify niya na yung mga documents mo are all true. Kasi di ba parang i-compare yung photocopy sa original. Parang dito sa atin, di ba? Parang sa JP. So yeah. parang just to confirm na from dun sa original passport, same yung nandun sa photocopy. Kasi yung photocopy, yun yung i-upload din. Upload mo sa um, profile mo. So yun, parang makita lang nila yun. So, I think okay lang naman yun. As long as yung nag-sign on is talagang, I mean, pwede sila ang mag-sign for the notary. And add ko na din pala kasi may mga nagtatanong na pag dito sa New Zealand, anong ginagawa? Um, ako personally, ang ginawa ko was um, JP. Kasi may mga nags- nagkwento na mga ibang nandito na sa New Zealand na nagbabayad sila sa lawyer for about $80 per page. Hindi sila aware na pwede pala sa JP. So, um, ako noon, ang ginawa ko was um, nag-create um, ako na ticket sa support Na sabi ko, is it possible na yung JP ang mag-certify nung um, documents ko? And then, sabi naman nila, yes, pwede yung JP. Pinakita ko lang yung reply ng CGFNS sa, sa JP, and then nag-sign naman sila. So, yeah. yun. And explain ko din na parang yung application ko is still for the Nursing Council of New Zealand. Mm-hmm. It's just that yung CGFNS is just a parang third-party verifier. Yes. Yun. Yeah. Okay. If you're already living in New Zealand, you don't have to pay for notary mm-hmm. service. Because um, just as a piece, it's free. You can Google it. There's a list online wherever you are living. Um, there's also schedule, ganyan. And then regardless of how many documents you need to a certified copy, ganyan, you don't really have to pay. So. Uh, mm. um, kung pwede na ba yung CTC lang, hindi na nila include yung, 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 yung notarial attestation na form. Um, may mga nag-share sa group na yun lang ang ginawa nila especially yung mga nasa Singapore kasi medyo mahalata magpa-notaryo doon so I think ang ginagawa nung was yung, city, yung CTC so, parang stamp lang yung yung form nila I think um, yun lang um, o okay, nag-work naman sa kanila yung CTC lang pero kung nasa Pilipinas ka I think kasi madali naman ang access natin sa notaryo di ba? Okay. <laughs> Next question, identity. Ma'am, in identity documents, for example, passport, um, what if I renewed my passport from UAE? So the place of issue is written in passport in Abu Dhabi. Should I fill it in using the uh, issuing country as UAE? So it's Reynolds, I think he's Indian. Um, but when you know, when he renews his passport, nasa UAE siya, so issuing country is UAE. So when he completes that CGFNS form, okay lang na UAE yung ilagay. 
I think um, may sumagot sa amin yan um, na, as, na admin. Ang sinabi was, dapat ang issuing pa din is sa Philippines. Pero, pero kumbaga, si, ang nag-issue pa din ng passport mo ay kung saan ka citizen. Just with regards to your question, Renal, the answer, I'm going to translate now. Hirap naman ito, parang ayos. <laughs> Based on the experiences of other Filipinos who renewed their passport overseas, they still had to write the issuing um, country as um, Philippines, even if they got the renewal from overseas. Um, Iko-correct ko na lang yun pag nakita ko. But basically, the explanation is, um, I think, kasi ay nag-issue pa din ng country na yun, is kung saan ka citizen. Um... Mm. Siguro, ish, yun pa rin ang issuing country. Siguro, bu- kung nasa UAE man siya, yun lang kasi yung, nandun kasi yung nag-embassy na or saan siya nag-renew. But basically, sino ba yung nag-issue ng passport sa Philippines? Um, for him, it's India. Or kung para sa atin naman, it's still Philippines kasi doon tayo citizen. Yes. If mali ako, change ko yan. <laughs> And that's anyway, the information that we are providing in this video is to the best of our knowledge. Please always refer to Nursing Council of New Zealand website for the latest information. And if you are liking this video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Salamat po! Uh, who education? Education. Questions around education. I Wait lang ha. Let me see if... Ito. Tanong ni Ryan. Ano po yung pwedeng isulat or ilagay sa part ng name of diploma for both primary and secondary in English and native language? Nakalimutan ko na kasi kung ano yung nakasulat sa diploma. Thank you in advance. Yung mga ibang sumagot nito, sabi lang nila, just write high school mm-hmm. diploma. Um, actually yun. Actually yun lang din. Um, ako, ako nga, funny, ang nilagay ko, alam mo ko, ano, name ko. <laughs> as in, as in name ko, I, I mean, funny talaga. Kasi siyempre, I mean, nung time namin, kasi hindi, wala pang group. Wala pa kaming group chat. Parang lahat, or rather, yung nasa group chat kayo, lahat kami nag-umpisa pa lang. Oh. Kumbaga lahat pare-pares kami um, ng, 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 uh, nag-ano pa na application. So, kung magawa na nag-guide sa amin. Ako, personally, finil ko lang siya. As in, ah, name? Basta nakita ko name, the name ko. <laughs> Pero, uh, eventually, na, syempre, nung nakita ko, nalaman ko na sa iba, ah, that pala yung um, high, high school diploma or something like yeah. that. So, so, okay na. Pero yun, um, basically, pwede na yung high school diploma. Um, and then, I think we've already talked about this before. If you studied in two nursing schools, do you mm-hmm. have to provide both information ng dalawang school or isa lang? Um, nung, et, eto, different na ulit ngayon. Kasi parang nung time namin, um, ang hinihingi na lang yung kuskus ang kagurmadwe yes. na school. Um, yeah. Pero may mga, nareceive, ay mga may nagsashare dun sa group na parang hiningan din yung first school nila. Um, I think meron naman na may gumawa ng share siya sabi niya um, gumawa siya ng ticket sa CJFNS na parang um, lahat ng information from the first school ay forward na dun sa kung saan siya graduate mm-hmm. naka-include na sa DOR ganyan yung sa syllabus ganyan so parang um, I think hindi na siya hindi na kumaga retract na yung request for dun sa unang school niya pero may mga ibang gumawa niya excuse me pinasa na lang nila kasi na-require yun yeah. lang, medyo additional expense tsaka medyo hassle kasi waiting time ulit. So, no? so it's really tricky if you studied in two different schools because you have to provide information for both schools na lang siguro, no? Oh, uh, kasi hindi let's... mo rin naman siya ma... ma kung maga, ang mahirap naman kung hindi mo sasabihin. I-declare? Throw that. And question from Christine. Hello. Pwede ko po bang itanong kung paano makipag-communicate sa school ko? For example, need nila mag-fill up ng form, then sila ang magsasend sa CGFNS. I mean, dito na po kasi ako sa New Zealand. Need ko bang ipa-courier ang form sa Pinas? Tapos ipadala ang form sa school? Sorry po, nagpupulman ako. Uh, basically, kailangan niya makipag-communicate sa school kung allowed si school na pwede niyang kausapin through email na mm-hmm. i-forward lang na yung CGFNS form. Pwede niya naman kasi isign yun um, electronically. Hmm. And then, um, siguro baka meron, kasi explain niya lang naman na kailangan niyo pong isagutan to. And basically, nandun naman yun sa form, yung instructions, yung mga kuha rin naman ni school. If that's the case, pwede kaya iscan yun and then send sure. them the electronic copy? Or would you rather send the school a printed form na may electronic signature mo? Um, ako kasi, ang ginawa ko, nandito na rin kasi ako ng time na yun, di ba? Yeah. Um, um, nag-e-signature ako, in-email ko kay Kabayan Aaron Runner, kasi hmm. sila yung kinuha ko na parang services na sila ang gumawa nung nag-process ng application ko. Sila na yung nag-print, tapos sila na yung nag-abot dun sa school. So kung halimbawa meron siyang relative, baka pwede niya mapasuyuan na i-sign na, i-signature na niya, or gusto niya, print niya, scan niya, 
padala niya, pero gagastos pa siya doon. Pwede naman na sign niya, um, print niya, sign niya, scan niya, email niya kay relative. Si relative na lang yung magpe-print and then magbigay sa school. Oh, and I guess that's answered um, Lynette as well. Ano po yung sabi ni Ms. Ruru na nag-help sa kanya sa Philippines to settle her paperwork so that was Kabayan Errand Runner and syempre tayo na ante pa rin namin yung komisyon namin from Kabayan Errand Runner. <laughs> Pagalawin ng baso. That's so ka. <laughs> True. Hindi pero ayun, um, sa akin legit naman, I mean, hassle-free pa din. And I think marami rin naman ang um, kumuha ng service nila. So far, wala naman bumabalik na feedback na nako, oh, ganito, ganyan. So I think um, I, I would still recommend them. Pero hindi ko connected sa kanila. <laughs> Disclaimer. Oh, yun. Anyway, um, may mga questions about sa education mm-hmm. history. Um, I think dun sa form, ang kailangan kasi the requirements, um, parang checklist, parang bak- parang ito checklist lang ng school. I think late team ang pinapadala is wala na yung request for the syllabus. Mm-hmm. Pero pagka nabasa mo yung pinaka third page, nakalagay dun sa top ng form is Hindi require pa rin nila yung syllabus. So, lately may confusion about it. Uh, may na- tinanong niya na, um, kasi na-receive ko dun sa form, dalawa lang ang nire-require sa akin. Yung CJFNS form, and then yung TOR ata, parang ganun. And, um, hindi ko na maalala kasi lahat ng request. Still need to submit yung syllabus, kahit na wala na dun sa checklist. Ang advice sa kanya ng CJFNS, yun lang naman yung share niya. So, hindi ko alam kung, wala pa rin kasi na-share na hindi nag-submit ng syllabus, pero nag okay. So, abangan natin yan. Yeah, no? So, I think parang just to be safe, it's better to have a syllabus at this stage, no? Come yeah, on. kasi kung nandun ka na, I mean, submit mo na siya, kesa sa, sa huli, magpadagdag sila. Additional, kaya na naman magbabayad ka na naman ng yeah. um, shipping fee or courier fee. If you have a USRN license but never practice in US, do you think i-add pa sa list yung USRN um, license? Ako personally, hindi ko siya na-experience, pero based sa mga nag-share, um, hindi na nila sinama kasi ihingan ka pa ulit ng um, verification ni mm-hmm. CGFNS. So, um, may nagsabi ng share na pinilit niya pa rin kasing ilagay. So, nilagay pa rin niya. Di naman daw mahirap. Pero syempre, yung time kasi naantay mo, part na, naging part na siya na requirement mo. Yeah. Alay kung hindi mo na siya in-include. Kung hindi ka naman nag-practice sa US, huwag yeah. na siguro. And then, another common question here for Singapore enrolled nurses and Singapore registered nurses. I guess they have two parang information there. Tama ba yun? Isa sa enrolled nurse nila and then isa sa registered yeah, nurse nila. Yeah. Yeah. Masyadong familiar pag yung sa Singapore eh. Pero parang, I think yes, um, pwede, I mean, pwede na include yung sa EN tsaka sa RN. While we are on the topic of nursing license, we might as well talk about nursing employment history. So for other applicants, I think they've only provided their um, experience in the last five years and that seemed to work out for them as well, provided that they have minimum of two years experience, which include minimum of 2,500 hours. Um, last two weeks ago, merong mga nagsabi na parang sa mga SGRNs, ang nangyari was parang hindi na ni-require yung English test initially. Um, kaya maraming biglang nagkaroon ng surge ng application from SGRNC. Eh. So we need na, sa part pa lang ata kasi ni CGFNS application, magkakaroon na ng, pag nagbayad ka, meron daw kiniklik doon, na parang mag- mag-request ka ng wave, na ma-wave yung mm-hmm. sa English test. Um, pero ito, very recent lang din, few days ago, may mga nagtanong, na parang, bakit, um, bakit, Pagdating kay nursing council, kailangan na nila magbigay ng proof na hindi na, kumaga na para, um, wait, let me read that part. Proof ng English test pa, haba? Bakit yeah, na pa yung kailangan nila mag-provide ng additional proof. Hmm. Wait. Um, and the council may require you to provide evidence that demonstrates you have completed an English language test to gain registration in another predominantly English-speaking country. So, which is nangyayari lately, um, yung mga nag-share na Singapore, gulat sila na okay na kay CJFNS, pero pagdating kay Nursing Council, may message silang receive sa portal nila na uh, mag-provide sila ng proof regarding sa English test. Which is, feeling ko parang hassle, kasi parang nandun ka na sa point na kala mo na si last step ka na, tapos bigla kang um, mm. ng ganun. Which, tapos hindi ko rin alam kung paano proof, anong proof ang um, ibibigay nila. Kasi, di ba, nung dumating naman sila ng Singapore, hindi naman required ang English test. Hmm. Um, medyo, medyo ano pa siya ngayon? Medyo magulo. Okay. 
Okay. Hindi pa talaga siya clarified. Hindi pa talaga siya parang super clear, no? Kasi yun nga, parang when I first got Wind of Nails and Premier it was it was quite tricky for me as well because when I was reading all those comments mm-hmm. sa group chats, they said na parang i wave pa lang ganyan and then they, they based the English waiver um based on your Singapore nursing board license, which is totally different because for the UK RNs that I've talked to in the past, they can waive their English test license by actually uploading their um, IELTS result previously or even just writing the date kung kailan sila nag English test na nakapasis sila parang ganyan. So anyway, I guess this is an evolving yeah. ano pa, issue. <laughs> evolving so I guess we'll have to wait kung ano bang verdict ng nursing council, no? Nurse sa Pilipinas kasi ba head nurse or any senior nurse um hold na authorities authority sa yo I think uh, naman kasi si charge nurse guys or or HR kasi ko sino yung nag-hold ng authority sa yo And now just a reminder if you do encounter a problem with your application once you have created an account with CGFNS you can submit a request ask questions or raise a ticket by clicking the dashboard to submit a request Alternatively, if you cannot create an account with CGFNS or you don't have access to a CGFNS account, you can also use the contact us section and send your questions through there. And there is also a phone number that you can contact to. Just bear in mind, like we've discussed initially, it may take some time before CGFNS can respond to your inquiry. Hope that helps. Kapag tagal mag-update ng dashboard, wala bang nagpapwede gawin pag ganun yung situation? Um, pwede naman kasi sila mag-raise ng ticket or pwede rin mm-hmm. silang tumawag. Or... Pwede rin naman na wait lang nila. Um, yung lahat ng requirements nila. Nung dumating na lahat ng requirements nila, biglang nag-100% na lang sila. Nung dumating na yung... <laughs> oh, <laughs> may nag-share nung ganun ha. Pero hindi naman din lahat. So case to case talaga. Please lang mag-follow up. Pwede sila mag-create ng ticket. Just make sure to include na yung shipping. Or tracking siya. Eh, pag nag-reply sila, sabi nila, hindi mo in-include din mo na agad yung tracking number. Alright. Any general updates that we should be aware of? Parang halimbawa, um, tatlo sila na na employees from dun sa isang hospital na yun. Pwede ba nilang isubmit yung yung forms nila all together in one envelope? Siguro to save din naman kasi talaga, no? Yun. And na-verify naman yung ano nila, yung, ano dito yung application. Siguro kasi basta ang mahalaga hindi ikaw yung sender. Tsaka yeah. so, siguro parang iisipin ni si Jeff and if, ah, kasi isang employer lang. Si employer, alam naman na tapos nila. So parang hindi dodgy, diba? So parang pwede, siguro. May mga gumawa, success naman sila. Pero yung halimbawa, ikukumbay mo si PRC, si hmm. school, at saka si, aray ko, si employer. Uh-huh. Um, siguro, yun, medyo parang sa risky yun. No, soon na pala can you hear back from nursing council? Like, after masubmit yung report sa CGFNS, and then CGFNS submitting the report to nursing council, how soon can you um hear back from nursing council? Uh, si nursing council, I think, mabilis eh. Um... Pwedeng 24 hours, mag, may ma-receive ka na na, yeah, na message from from nursing council. Pero it may take up to three days. Mm-hmm. Like, yun, especially like this week. This coming week, may holiday tayo. So, syempre, minus na naman sa bilang si holiday. Pero, wala akong masyado naridinig na reklamo sa tagal. I mean, yung from coming from sending report to invitation ng nursing council. Parang mabilis naman. Ang matagal talaga is si CJ Finis alone. Going back to you, pero natapos na yung sa ano mo, sa nursing council mo, and then they recommended, the nursing council recommended for you to complete CAP as part of your registration. How was your confidence assessment program? How was the whole experience was for you? Did you have to do online, online learning instead of face-to-face na para classroom setting? Ako kasi sa Fetereya ako. Um, hindi, nag-face-to-face kami noon kasi hindi, hindi pa masyadong, um, nag-mask na tayo, pero parang yun yung time na, na parang naka-orange Ah. orange level so um, basically distancing ganyan pero wala na yung graduation shared lunch oh. yeah yun yung, um, pero face <laughs> pero face to face kami nung time namin tapos um, eight weeks eh, eight weeks yung um, yung cap yeah mix na um, depende kung ano yung um, kung ano rin yung shift ni precept ni main preceptor ko if not kasi like um, yung main preceptor ko was 0.8 lang yung shift niya uh-huh. Eh, since full-time tayo, pagka pa lang full-time yung hours mo. Uh, may mga days na iba yung preceptor ko. Ganyan. Um, yun. Pero mix naman siya. Siyempre pa, guys. You've met our family. You've met baby Pio. Pio, you want to say hi? You've met my daughter, Arabella. Pio, so cute. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, you may want to check out my other video about the salary of nurses working in private versus public hospitals. Or you may want to see my dedicated checklist for CGFNS NZ step-by-step -step application. At this point, I'd like to thank Nurse Ruru for her time for this interview. And I also would like to extend that thanks to different admins and moderators of Facebook group and Facebook group chats. Um, dedicated to help nurses with their CGFNS application. As always, I wish you all the best with your journey and I hope you will be blessed. I'll see you soon. Bye! I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try it anything. So I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life. Have to be a better me. I don't